Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this series of tutorials, we'll look on a filter editor that comes with professional version of Filter Forge. So in previous, we'll look on some settings and options. What's happen if you want to look under hood to modify some filters on a little bit more low level, or what if you want to create your own from the scratch? In this case, Filter Editor will help you to do so. To do this, let's go ahead and select one and I will select for the paper made by Geek at Play and we'll click on Filter Editor. You will notice it's come up with menu with this ad ask us first if I want to edit this filter or if I want to create a brand new filter. So as a beginning, let's just look as if we select edit this filter. We'll go ahead, open Filter Editor. You'll notice it's open for us um, editor with the visual nodes. Right here is an example. You can see how the filter perform. You can use its scroll button or zoom in and out to preview all nodes. You can modify and when you're done, you can save this filter and reuse it. So it's help you to adjust and modify filters more to what are you looking for. So, but as example, I really recommend we'll start from scratch from beginning. So let's go ahead, close this filter and I don't want to save any modification and we'll go ahead and open brand new create. So in this case, we can look on all these nodes, how they work components, what they can help us and we'll go create some of the filters. After this, we can go to back to what existing filter, look how they work and maybe modify and adjust some nodes. On the, let's look first over UI of this screen. On the top, you'll notice we have it as usual file options, our edit, view, filters, and help. Okay, inside the file, we have save filters. So you can save filter without exiting. Okay, or if you want to create as another version, you just select uh, save filter add. We also have it edit options as your standard undo, paste and copy. Okay, we also have it view options where you can zoom in, uh, zoom in workspace, thumbnails, and those ones will look closer when we start to work on a specific project. We also have a type of the filter where we can preset by default anti aliasing simples. We can preset the render map look. So this is very standard. And actually many times when you just start testing, you maybe want to look on them, but in some cases you won't. The help is very important. This is will help you to go to the FilterForge forum or website or retrieve documentation so you can reference easy or ask other people about specific, um, what's happening, specific issues, or maybe just advices. So I'll, next we have our preview. In a preview, you can look on specific node. For example, right now we have only one node result. So we can preview what is the result showing us here. Sometimes you have multiple nodes and you can click, you notice right here, preview is not displayed. If you want lock node to just specific output till you modify other ones, you can select lock preview on this case, whatever node you're selecting, the preview will respond with the result showing inside the windows you selected. Right here is also it's showing what is windows it's locked to. Okay, we also have a zoom in or zoom out from our preview windows just right here. We also can move around or take additional color simple. So right below this, we have it options and those options will change depend on what type of the node we will start connecting to. Okay, in the middle, we have it our workspace and to navigate in workspace, you just click and hold right button on your mouse and you can drag up and down. You also can zoom in or zoom out by using um, wheel on your mouse if you have them. If you don't have, you can also create and click icons on the top and using those icons to zoom in or out. If you are to extend, you always can zoom to fit that will scale down or increase there um, to fit all nodes in one view. 
We also have it move subtree. If you select one, it will move all connected to the nodes and snap to the grid. By default, I always leave it this as a check it. So it's help us to kind of better organize when we're placing this kind of snap to the grid you can see right here. Okay, on our right side, we have it components. Components are essential parts of the filter forge that allowed us to control input, output, and modification that happen on the middle. This is kind of like preset um, Lego blocks. And by using them, you can construct what you like. As example, we can take um, all in all selection. We can preview all of them, or we can go inside the individual groups. We can take one to simple drag and drop, and you can see right here the node. We can go ahead and connect those nodes. And this is very easy, just drag and drop. The flow will go from the left to the right, follow the error. And also, you can have a different type of the nodes, which we'll look in our next tutorials. Okay, so this is kind of the overview of the uh, controls and say filters. And again, how I said, just again, the pointing on your left uh, bottom side. If you select, you notice so right here, the options, it will change depending on what filter you're selecting. So it's kind of properties of the node that you currently selected. Okay, so let's, um, this is all for this part of tutorial. And next we start building our first simple um, filter and we'll look on all of these options that we have.